Yeah, so my name is Lance Owyhee. I'm from Duck Valley, or other known, otherwise known as Owyhee, Nevada, and I go to the University of Nevada, Reno. My major is uh, in forestry. Well, I have two majors, uh, forestry slash ecology and then wildlife conservation. And I mainly picked those two because um, I think it was in my senior year of high school. I was still trying to figure out like what I wanted to do. And um, there was this little getaway, this little trip that they had at the school where we went to California for a bit and we learned like a lot about conservation acts in California and it was really cool. And they also had like a native perspective on it too as well. So that's why I picked my major. Being in college during the pandemic has been really um, hard and stressful. It's not like regular traditional school where you go into class and do your work and then leave. Uh, I feel like it's more stressful and like really hard on your mental health because you just do the same things over and over again, as well as like classes also have like a huge amount of like work they have to do as well. So just having to like just be in your dorm or just like at home doing your work is kind of like really hard to do, especially if you're a native as well with those resources are pretty low. But yeah, it's been pretty challenging, but I've been able to keep afloat for a while. I think the hardest thing about going to college or being in college is really keeping like your mental health at bay or keeping it like really stable. Uh, for me, it's been really challenging this past semester um, just to really keep on work and as well as like working on myself as well, doing the same things, but having like uh, my friends and cousin along here at Reunar with me help out a lot. And also another thing that's pretty hard here is that since I'm from a smaller reservation and this is a pretty big giant like campus along with like a lot of different people, it's just really hard to like be like seen or just to be um, heard, you know. Being native at this campus, this predominantly white campus is, it's hard. <laughs> Um, there's these times where you feel like you're actually part of the community, but there's also times where like you feel isolated because there are some people here that just look at you weird or just say things about you and like in the middle of the night as you're like walking to get like some like munchies from the gas station. But like it's it's different, especially for me since Duck Valley is like two hours away from any type of like city or uh, town. It's really, uh, I want to say kind of discouraging to see that all that happened, but I guess it's just something I have to get prepared for really as I move on because not a lot of places are going to be predominantly like native or predominantly minority, but yeah, it's been challenging, weird and overall kind of disappointing, but For feeling isolated on campus, what I did was um, I kind of reached out to like uh, the center here at UNR, but they led me to um, the Indigenous Student Organization and just being connected with everyone there on the group and then also having like my cousin and my friends here and really cool roommates and it made me feel more like not isolated, you know? so. It helps a lot just to have these different connections. And then also I suggest to really reach out to your family too as well, because I know that sometimes I have trouble reaching out to them, but it's nice to really have those connections and still feel good about yourself. To prepare for college really, um, what I did was I reached out to like my school's like local trio Upper Bound and the advisor really kind of helped me a lot to get ready for college and 
um, help me find all these programs and all this stuff. But really, my advice would be to like really reach out to like counselors or anyone at your school to help you with college because I know for me it helped out a lot because I was really sure that I couldn't do this alone or I wasn't sure if I even wanted to go to college as well. Oh uh, yeah, um, money is really like hard to get, especially like from where I live in the reservation. Um, it was really hard. I, my family is not that rich. <laughs> um, coming to this campus as well is really expensive. I think it was like 24,000 just for the first year or even more. I can't remember, but it was somewhere around there. But what I really did was I applied to a lot of scholarships. So I had my tribal and then I reached out to different like Nevada scholarships as well. And then I also pulled out some loans, but um, I'm pretty sure I can pay them off soon after college. But what I really did to handle all like my money and stuff. So last semester, I barely had enough money. And um, I really had to ration myself with just like laundry, like all the essentials, like laundry, um, food, or like travel, really. Um, but this semester, I have more of a leeway since I've gotten more um, like the grants and stuff for this semester. So I've been keeping the same system, but like really just manage your money well, like what you really need and what you like don't need. I think the funniest thing that happened to me on campus so far is just having like uh, <laughs> white roommates. It's just, I don't know, it, since I'm from like a predominantly like a uh, native reservation and went to all native school as well, like it's just, funny to like see how they are like <laughs> it's gonna sound weird but like it really just funny to see how they like they live and everything but they really keep me um like kind of open and uh, as well as like just keeping me laughing as well the most are like i'm more thankful for like all the like connections that i made here at univar or unr um so like back in the reservation there's really like nothing to like do for like the community or like there's not a lot to like that the community can offer it if that makes sense but like here at unr i've been able to do like um reaching out to like the river cleanup here in reno as well as reach out to different other native people here and just really make different connections and new relationships as well just really live like a more better life, I guess. I think my advice to people who are like moving from uh, like a more isolated community like myself is to really like reach out, you know, it, it seems really hard to do, like, especially for me, I was really shy and um, I never really wanted to like meet anyone or do anything, but I made that like leap of actually like going out and talking to people or um, like putting myself in these clubs to actually like make more connections and feel more welcomed. It's really possible to get to college. I mean, for me, um, I didn't think I was going to go to college. I mean. Uh, there's like this really dark time in my life in high school where I didn't think I was going to have a life beyond high school or it was just all going to end there. But really just pushing myself to like actually like seeing all these um, possibilities or opening my mind up to like having a life beyond college or beyond high school instead of um, just staying on the res or just, you know, suicide because that was a major thing as well that was present in my mind but I felt for me that what kept me going was like my family and my friends and as well wanting to do better myself so yeah um, it's really possible to go to college because if I can do it then <laughs> really anyone can you just really got to be smart about it
any last words I would like to give is really just kind of be yourself, you know, really expand on like who you are as a human being and as well as also uplift like your communities as well, because sure, I'm leaving the res, but I'm trying to like help out as much as I can, like with unity or like with any other things of just helping like my friends as well. Um, so my advice would just be to really work on yourself as well as help your community as well.